sit down and shut up. Oh, boy. Okay. You guys did give me 100%. And that is all I can ask. You played like pros. Like men. You took a paycheck. And you played hard. And you gave me everything you had on both sides of the ball. You also give it 100% when you walk down a flight of stairs. But if you fuck up and fall down the stairs and a stick goes up your ass, then you tried and still ended up with the stick up your ass. Yesterday, you tried. And you all have sticks up your asses. Gabish? I accept the loss. But that still doesn't mean I can't be critical because I deserve the right to explain to you what you did right and wrong. You got to take the good with the bad. You got to take the tit with the tat. You got to dance with the girl you brought to the dance. You got to pay the piper. If the shoe fits, wear it. If it came in fast, it went out just as fast. Easy come, easy go. You had it, you went with it. If you had it, anyone could have it. You guys are now two and ten. Two and ten. If two and ten was a sandwich, it would be a ham and cheese on rye. Oh, that that's after you wiped your ass with the rye bread. If two and ten was a pizza, it would be a delicious pizza with a big fat dirty whore sitting on it. If you win the last four games, you go six and ten. If eight and eight is like kissing your sister and seven and nine is like humping the family parakeet, then six and ten is like jerking off on a hibernating bear with honey on your nuts. I don't even know what that means. And it only gets worse. For the first time, uh, my mother-in-law went to mybookie.ag, put in the promo code VIC, took the over 41, and actually pushed with the final score, 24-17. She is now 19-7-1. I said to her, Ma, you, you pushed on the bet. She said, uh, what, what, what do you talk about, a push? Like push him up, uh, Tony Lazzetti? I said, no, 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 no. You, you didn't win or lose. You just have to pay the Vig. And she said, why do I have to pay Vic? I, I pay for, I got to pay for Vic. I, I, I cook for him. I, I clean. I bring him stuff. Why do I have to pay Vic? I said, no, 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 not Vic. Vig, V-I-G. And she said, ear my shig. S-H-I-G. Now she's mad at me because you guys couldn't pop the over. Hey, look, there was no winning yesterday. Over, Rhonda, it didn't matter. Eat my shig. Gino, you started out a little shaky. Little, little shaky, a little bit, a little bit. You had the baby veal thing going. It seemed like every time you got hit, you coughed up the ball, but you hung in there. I have to say... You hadn't played in three years, and you did some, some good things. We really had a chance to win that game. Those fumbles were costly. But it is what it is. You got to go home. We're, we're not Hanny Mal. Just don't ever tell me you never met Johnny Ola before. Sullivan, that was some play calling. You are the master of the three-yard pass and the two-yard run. The problem is... You need six downs to get a first. This will be addressed in the offseason. And when I say addressed in the offseason, I mean below me, you West Coast hump. 
Spags. They played a good game, Spags. I'd like to see less than 24 points scored, but I'd also like to be able to get a boner without taking Viagra or Altuve, whatever the fuck it's called. I'm convinced if we don't fumble twice, we win that game. The defense did good. No hanging your heads there. The D was solid. McAdoo. What can I say? Who goes 11 and 5 and then 2 and 10 after 12 games? That's like that's like making a delicious dinner and for dessert you bring out a bucket of piss and call it lemonade. We don't deserve to be buckets of piss. Gentlemen, we have four games left. Four games left in this miserable, sad, pathetic, embarrassing, lethargic, laughable season. It's already a shit fest to a degree. But we went six and ten, two seasons in a row before last season. Let's at least try to match that. I mean, the numbers get really bad if you keep losing. And the draft pick thing is bullshit, okay? We're going to have a high pick, okay? We can trade up and down as we need. Jesus Christ, we didn't have the number one pick with Eli. We traded him, right, with, with San Diego. So can everybody just shut the fuck up about the draft picks? We don't need to talk about draft picks right now. What we need to talk about, run blocking and pass blocking and calling pass plays that are longer than three fucking yards. Okay. Go see the trainers. Go get some breakfast. Go hike up your skirts. Gentlemen, the shit has hit the fan and we are getting covered all over. Time to take a shower, wash it off, towel dry and get ready for another game because that's what you do. You are football players. You play football. Now get out of my fucking face. I love you guys, even though you play like a bunch of muscle-bound nutsacks with helmets and pads. Never. Ever. Get away from me, McAdoo. Get the fuck away from me.